Welcome back to 843 TV. We're here now with Miss Lisa Willingham. She is the account executive here at the station. Thank you for joining us this morning. Thank you for having me um, on the other side of the camera for a little bit. <laughs> thank you. We're going to make sure you're comfortable on both sides. Okay, good. Thank you. So a lot of businesses, I know they ask me, you know, a lot of small businesses are like, what do we need to do? How do we get on TV? How does that work? That's all on your shoulders now. So tell everybody, how, what, did, what are the steps they need to take to do that? Well, I actually join a sales team. There's four of us. Will is uh, part of that team. And between the four of us, we bring a lot of experience in the way of marketing, sales, networking, and PR. And all four of those must work together to reach your audience. So what we do is we come out to our businesses. We, we let them know what we have to offer them to get them onto the media portion of their marketing strategy. Um, we offer a lot of different programs that they can be a part of, but we also have a way of customizing what they need, um, you know, specifically to reach their audience. So as the sales team and the marketing team, we're networking, we're getting to know you, we're getting to know what your goals are, we're coming to you and we're trying to help your audience know where you are, what your services and what your products are. And, um, it works very well. We reach 70,000 70, plus households daily. Wow, Lisa, yes. tell us a little bit about your background. Well, I am a mass communications major, so my expertise is in marketing, journalism, and PR. Mm -hmm. I have done that in an array of uh, professions throughout my professional career. And um, actually five of my years was spent in the hospice and home health care. Mm -hmm. Um, that's also a business and it needs to be marketed to the public and that's what I did. I also worked for the Greater Bluffton Chamber of Commerce, so it's very dear to my heart. I believe in chambers. They're a wonderful tool to help our businesses network because they begin to refer to each other. Absolutely. And as they refer to each other, they're then going to share what's working and what's not working. And I think most of our audience will find that WHHI TV truly works. Um, so. That's what I do. That's a little bit of my past. Um, public relations, sales, marketing, and network must go hand in hand. So our sales team works to do that and then bring folks to WHHI TV and get the word out of what they have to sell or their services they have to offer. Wow, that's a lot of experience. Thank you. <laughs> Lisa, um, you mentioned the chamber and you know, the, the nature of small business and the importance of that in the community, I think that um, organizations really share a real passion for that. Right. What is it about working with small business that you really like? Well, small businesses usually have a very small budget, mm -hmm. first of all. And a lot of times they know what they want in the end. They need business. They need to improve their bottom line, but they don't know quite how to get there. We are TV media, but we also, like I said, bring a lot of experience on the table to help them develop their marketing plan. When our small businesses realize that they get a professional link that's theirs forever, that we produce when they come on the show, and we can show them how they can throw that out in an e-blast to all their customers, use it on LinkedIn, YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, that's huge. They can show that, send that out at any time. And then it's running on the station in our hyper local network, which we're blessed to have here in the Low Country, and really reaching our residents, our part time residents, and our visitors. Mm -hmm. Because specifically in Bluffton and Hilton Head, everything is behind the trees. Yeah. <laughs> we need to let people know what small businesses are over there, what, what's lurking behind the trees, and WHHI really gets that in front of the viewer. I think we share that push too. Yes. <laughs> it's important. And small businesses do see an increase in their bottom line. Um, it's been shown over and over. So it's fun to watch them grow. Well, and as a small business owner myself, I think the scariest thing is, well, we don't have money for that right now. Right. Exactly. It's probably what you right. hear. Exactly. Yes. And exactly. what's important to get across is that you guys have a lot of flexible options. We do. And the old adage that you got to spend a little bit of money to make some money mm -hmm. is very, very true because you got to get your name out there. That's right. And when you take the cost and you break it down monthly and then you break it down to how many times you're viewed a day, it's really a no brainer. It's just so much exposure for and, and a good point, too, is folks think that it costs a lot to advertise on TV. Your hyper local network, which is WHHI TV, makes it very reasonable to do that. 
worth your while, I promise you. This is great information. Mm -hmm. So Lisa, you touched on it earlier, uh, but for you know, for some small business owners, their core competency may not be marketing and advertising. Right. Why is it important for a small business to market themselves? Well, yeah, <laughs> sales and marketing go hand in hand. You may have a wonderful service, a wonderful product that you want to sell, but if folks don't know about it, that's your marketing. You've got to brand yourself. Your branding would be your logo, would be your motto, would be your colors, but folks aren't gonna know those if they don't know you're out there. So you've got to find a channel to get that out there. I believe in all medias, most certainly, networking through the chamber, most certainly, but TV is still the most important way where visual learners, mm -hmm. plus it's on the internet, right. and it can be sent through every social media. So they need to be educated a little bit, and we take a one-on-one -on -one approach to do that. We like to uh, you know, walk our customers through it. We don't just say, here, this is what we can do, tell me what you need. Mm -hmm. We say, this is what we offer, this is what we, we hope to, to do for you, but tell me what your goals are. I'm gonna help you achieve those, but just tell me what you need. How many customers I are you I think that's for? a great point, too, because it's very intimidating for most people. <laughs> They're gonna wanna be on TV. That's true. <laughs> and you don't have to. You don't have to. You guys have options. Options. There's plenty of different ways to go about it. So even if you're terrified, yeah. being on the side of the camera, which is really not scary at all. That's right. You know, there are other options. Yes, absolutely. You don't have to go behind the camera if you're not comfortable with it. We can do some photos, some voiceovers. We have other creative ways to do things. We can do things on your location, in your place where you feel more comfortable, or we can bring you to the studio. And it is pre-taped. So we have, you know, the ability to edit and kind of switch things around a little bit. I encourage all business owners to take advantage of it. Um, the RBC Heritage is coming up and we need to get um, that word out for you all. That is right. great information. Yay. We're all excited <laughs> about the RBC Heritage because that's always an exciting event. All right, well, thank you very much for being thank with you us. For having me. And make sure that you guys come back and join us next time for more 843 TV. Where communities come to speak.